It could be internally or externally or a trade show or a conference. Anywhere where there's a gathering of people. Patricia Fripp's basic networking philosophy is, there is no point going anywhere that people don't remember you were there. A few years ago, I spoke in South Africa and one weekend they took us to a game park. And it was amazing. We went out in these big high jeeps and saw these magnificent animals. The zebras and giraffes and elephants and rhinos and the ostrich. We felt a little guilty about the ostrich. We'd eaten one of his relations the night before for dinner. What I found surprising was when these animals stood perfectly still, you couldn't see them. That didn't surprise me something grey like an elephant or a rhino, but it was surprising something as distinctive as a zebra or a giraffe. And on reflection I realised what keeps these animals alive in their jungle can get us eaten alive in ours. Because although there might be times when it's appropriate to fade into the background, in general, if you want to position yourself ahead of the crowd, you have to be distinctive and memorable. If you were to step in the elevator in your office building and there was a high senior level executive that you don't normally interact with, you've got to the 15th floor to say something memorable and interesting that perhaps could pay off long term in your career. What would you say? I was talking to Linda Pell of Kellogg and she said every day I eat at the employee cafeteria and at least once a week I make a specific date to sit with someone. Now we're all buying our own lunches, there's no expense, however it is a way to develop relationships throughout the organization. So it doesn't matter what your budget is, you can use creativity, you want everybody to do well. And that means you need a master plan, you might need outside vendors and meeting planners, and rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. Remember, last words linger. They need to be yours. And perhaps they want to represent the key theme, a call for action, or a motivational challenge. You might know a good copywriter writes their PS first because they know how important it is. It's the same with the end of your speech. You've heard about mistakes for smaller meetings. Let's look at a few of the mistakes with large meetings or conferences. No thought to the audience. You have to give your audience frequent breaks. You have to let them know exactly what's expected of them and give them time to move from session to session. So I suggest you put some stretch time in your agenda or not long enough breaks. You cannot get 2,000 people to the bathroom and back in 20 minutes. Get real. For the last 30 years, I've been invited to speak at and participate in business meetings of all sizes. And as you know, business meetings are the best opportunity for you and your team to share information, exchange ideas, and contribute to important decisions. The meeting is also an excellent vehicle to build teams, improve commitment, and encourage participation. However, only when it's properly planned and executed by everyone involved.